Over the past seven years, we have developed, implemented, and been assessing two industrially situated virtual laboratories. A critical element of the instructional design is to provide students with a new and authentic way of perceiving engineering tasks. The intent of the research reported in this paper is to identify students' perceptions of the nature of the task and the cognitive demands embedded within them. Specifically, through coding and analysis of student written reflections, we compare their perceptions of cognition, experimental design, and ambiguity between these virtual laboratories and two physical laboratories in the same capstone course. We also seek to compare how authentic students perceive each laboratory environment. One of the virtual laboratories is industrially situated in the microelectronics industry. It is modeled after the Bay and Chase clean room design and students work with the unit process of chemical vapor deposition. To grow thin films of silicon nitride, they need to specify nine reactor parameters. After the films are grown, students navigate to the metrology bay where they use a virtual ellipsometer to select which wafers to measure and which positions on the wafer to measure. Each run and measurement costs money, so students need to use sound engineering principles to develop their design. So one question people ask is how do the students respond to the experience? And there's three things that come to mind. First of all, the, 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 the psychologically and physically evident struggle they go through wrestling with the ambiguity. In other words, they're given a problem without a clear solution path and without any tangible physical things in front of them. And they really struggle with defining the problem, defining their metrics for success, and then agreeing as a team on their approach. Uh, once they get rolling, uh, typically they'll, they'll describe it, ironically, as being a more uh, real-world experience, which is, which is kind of humorous considering it's a virtual lab. But they really do believe that. They feel that they're uh, taking the time to uh, invest in optimizing a process to uh, improve the results, which is something they would do in an actual job, as opposed to just accomplishing an experiment, writing it up, and be done. The data collected in the study suggests that students interact in significantly different ways with a virtual laboratory project than with a physical laboratory project. We suggest that this difference affords unique opportunities for deep learning. We invite you to read our paper and learn more about this study. Thank you.